Nice cold spot to keep my kombucha. Good morning, modern studders, and Merry Christmas Eve to all you modern studders. This morning, we're going to be working on putting in the ventilation system for our root cellar. We're going to take down the plywood board over the false window. The reason I left this for last is I figured I was better off once this room is insulated than to open up the window. If I open this up before, we have the cold air throughout the whole basement. I'm hoping that by taking this side down, the outside board doesn't fall. Because these two boards are just sandwiched together and that's what's holding them on there. Fingers crossed. For ventilation is I got some four inch galvanized it's like dryer vent size but it's all galvanized pipe I'm gonna drill a hole up high and I want to run one up high to the ceiling and then I'm gonna run one in this corner down low cold air can drop and come in in this top corner the hot air will rise and go out working on natural convection like our wood stove for heating the house do some fitting and see how we want this all to work. I like that right there. It will fit nicely up against the wall. We'll be able to secure the pipe to the wall, the cold air intake. It's a few inches off the floor. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll have to drill a hole. That's one thing I gotta keep my eye out for. I need caps for the vents to the outside. Our local hardware stores didn't have anything. So what I'll do for now is I'll put screen over them. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty wild. Here comes a not so fun part. I don't know how many of you have had the privilege of putting together stovepipe, but it's not fun. trick is, I don't know the trick. If I knew the trick, I wouldn't mind doing it. Every time I think I have a trick to doing it, it doesn't work the next time. So, let's see. I guess that worked. So the trick is on the four inch wide stuff, to start in the middle. All right, let's see if this works on the second pipe. Start in the middle. That kind of worked, starting on an end. I tell you what. Hey, it's all together. That's the important part. I need to cut two sections 10 inches long. I think it was my brother who showed me this trick when we were installing a wood stove in his garage.
fur. It's cold and snowy out here. We're gonna see if we can do most of the work from the inside today. Where the hole needs to go. I don't have a big enough hole saw bit, so this will be a two or a three step process. Nice. Now let's finish trimming it. Oh, you can feel the air coming in. I like it. I'm going to trim up the rest of the hole with my jigsaw. You could use the jigsaw for the whole thing, but uh, it's gonna be hard working in a tight quarters that we are to use the jigsaw. I gotta go from the outside and trim it up straight. I ended up cutting on a 45 bevel, just because I couldn't get the right angle, but now I can go outside, trim it up, on this side is like so. Oh, that'll work perfect. Well that, I couldn't ask for it to be any easier, right there. Be able to do that and run it right on the top. That's gonna work nice. That'll be the warm air exhaust. And this'll be the cool air intake. Yeah. That's going to work perfectly. Awesome. So I don't want to go over all the way. That would work. I can go as tight as I can. Now just because you don't have a window that you could do this to in your basement, you could use your sill plate above your foundation and drill your holes there, one on each side. You go one on this side and one on that side. Even better, if you're building a new house, you could design it to have two intake pipes and one of the pipes you could bury in the ground at the bottom of your foundation with your drainage. I was thinking about that last night. That would be awesome. Then you'd have the cool air in the summertime. You'd have really good access. So your root cellar would be 40 to 50 year round. Awesome. All right, so there's a few reasons why I went with the four inch duct work. One of them is it's fairly inexpensive. You can get it rigid. You can get dryer vent set up. You can get like an insulated plastic pipe set up. But the big reason for me and for this application is they make a damper that we can install in our pipe so we can control the airflow that goes in and out of the root cellar. That was a big thing in this whole design process. We've got to be able to have a lot of air come in or have no air come in or just a little bit. I want to be able to regulate the temperature and this is one way I'll be able to do that. The other reason going with a four inch is the room is small but also if you don't have a window, you could still do this setup. You could drill through your sill plate. This is the size of a dryer vent, and dryer vents go through your sill plates. So you could pipe in one for a cold air intake and one for an exhaust. I think it'd be awesome if a lot of people built these kind of rooms in their house. It's so versatile. You can use it in the summer for a root cellar, or you could use it in the winter time if you're in a northern region like us for a walk-in cooler. I want to put mine for the exhaust right here but I'll be able to access this easy without standing on anything if I go up high in the ceiling I'll have to stand on something let's see if it'll work once we have the two 90s put together look at that boom boom I like it 
Awesome. I got the damper working. I'm going to screw the two 90s together. Can you see in there? A damper. Nice. Look at that. I like it. Gotta take off these crazy stickers. When are they gonna make stickers that peel off easy? Man, I hate when they do that. You would think with all the technology we have nowadays, they'd have something better than a darn sticker you can't get off anything. I don't care what it is. Once you get the sticker off, you still got all the glue. Dreaded things. Alright, I installed the second damper. That makes a nice tight fit. Perfect. Holes have been open for a little while and it's 44 degrees in here. Woohoo! This one's gonna fit like so. We'll have our controls be perfect. Oh, I was hoping to get this all done today, but it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna have to put the board back up, just temporarily, close in our hole, and then tomorrow I'll be able to finish the window. I'll keep it closed up and keep all the critters out overnight. I'm looking forward to finishing up the vents in the root cellar tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow where we'll be finishing up the ventilation system for the root cellar.